Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Boxiest, and today we are going to continue the What If series. What if events had gone differently? And in this What If, we're going to change the history of Cobra Kai. What if Johnny joined Kreese at the end of Cobra Kai Season 3, Part 2? So this is a continuation to What If Johnny joined Kreese. If you guys haven't seen Part 1, I would recommend you go watch it before continuing this one. So in this timeline, Johnny would be another instructor at Cobra Kai. The relationship between Robbie and Johnny would improve. Kenny would still go to Robbie in this timeline, and he would still join Cobra Kai. Chris would still get Terry Silver, so Terry Silver would come back. So the three senseis would teach their students the way of the fist. And at Miyaido, Daniel would continue teaching his students some defense. Cobra Kai and Miyaido would leave each other alone because of the deal Johnny made with Chris. Hawk wouldn't get his mohawk cut off in this timeline. Robbie would decide to teach Miyaido to Cobra Kai. He would tell Johnny that it was the best way to beat Miyaido at the All Valley. Johnny would be hesitant, but he would trust Robbie, and the events of Season 4 would carry on. The night of the All Valley, Cobra Kai would know both defense and offense, while Miyaido only focused on defense. Miguel would look at Johnny in disappointment, and the tournament would stay the same. Robbie would defeat Hawk in the boys' semifinals, and it would be Miguel and Robbie in the finals. It would be a close match. Miguel and Robbie would both use a combination of offense and defense, but in the end, Robbie would defeat Miguel, and Robbie would be the boys' all valley champion. Johnny would tell Robbie that he was proud of him. It would still be Tori and Sam in the girls' finals, but since Sam never focused on offense, Tori would defeat her without cheating, so Cobra Kai would win overall. Yaido would be forced to shut down, and in this timeline, Terry Silver wouldn't betray Kreese, and Miguel wouldn't run away, but Daniel would still get chosen in this timeline, and the events of Season 5 would carry on. Johnny, Kreese, and Terry would continue running Cobra Kai. Daniel and Chosen would want to take down Cobra Kai. Terry Silver would open up various Cobra Kai dojos across the valley, and Johnny would run his own Cobra Kai dojo, and Robbie would be at Johnny's dojo, and Terry Silver would give Johnny his old car back. Terry Silver would still want to hire a bunch of senseis, and Chosen would still infiltrate Cobra Kai. Those events would stay the same, so the senseis would still fight Chosen. Johnny would find out that Daniel and Chosen tried infiltrating Cobra Kai, so Johnny would want to talk to Daniel. Daniel would be angry to see Johnny, and Johnny would tell Daniel that Daniel was poking the bear, that if he continued interfering with Cobra Kai, there was nothing he could do to stop Cobra Kai from retaliating, and the season would carry on. Robbie would move in with Johnny, and Miguel and Robbie would still have the rivalry, but Johnny would stop them from fighting. Daniel and Chosen would try to take down Cobra Kai, and eventually Daniel would fight Terry Silver, but Terry Silver would defeat him. Johnny would hear this, and he would be mad, so Johnny would confront Terry Silver. He would tell him that he made a deal with Chris to leave Miyaido alone, but Terry Silver would say that Daniel was trying to ruin Cobra Kai, and that he needed to be taught a lesson, and Terry Silver would still get Master Kim Dayun, so she would be another sensei at Cobra Kai. Miyaido would still reform, and both Miyaido and Cobra Kai would train for the Saikai Taikai. Terry Silver would teach Robbie the Silver Bullet technique. Miguel and Robbie would still have the rematch, but Robbie would still defeat Miguel. He would use the Silver Bullet technique, and Tori would still defeat Sam, so only Cobra Kai would qualify for the Saikai Taikai. Miyaido wouldn't want to expose Terry Silver in this timeline, so Terry Silver, Chris, and Johnny would continue running Cobra Kai in this timeline, and that is where I'm gonna end this what if. Thank you guys for watching. What do you guys think would have happened if Johnny joined Chris at the end of Cobra Kai Season 3? Let me know in the comments below. All members have access to emojis that can be used in comments and live streams. This isn't mandatory, this is only something extra. If you want to support the channel even more, YouTube lets me know that the majority of you are not subscribed, so if you guys could subscribe, that would be much appreciated. Thank you guys for watching, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on post notifications, and I'll see you guys next time.